Hey what's up guys, how's it going? My name is Shar and I hate RGB lightings on computers. Lately, I just got this brand new spanking out of the box computer from my dad as a long leap from my shitty 6 year old Pentium that I've been using to create videos such as this, what you're currently seeing right now. And a slight problem that I have with mine is that some of the RGB lighting, I can't configure to turn it off sometimes you have to download a shitty software that probably comes with a bloat in fact mine came with microsoft edge beta or whatever that was back then the pieces are just plain and simple you get a memory stick a core a graphics card a bunch of fans and a case that doesn't light up in the dark some fans back then are being sold with lights but it's only in either singular color or a mix of two and that's fine but this this is just taking one step further to show off it's not like you're going to make a video or go live to put your piece in the background as a decor or to be brought in a nightclub with no lights and dance around it no its technical purpose is to browse the web, play some games, make spreadsheets and documents of choice, render 3D graphics in a nick of time, edit videos and photos and do anything in a fashion where it makes people's lives a living hell or a living success. But they turned it into a flashy sports car with a lights on interior like a party bus. You see, your computer is not a Rolls Royce with lights as an interior, a basic white American girl's room that is probably working on her fit on OnlyFans. That is the meme from Carmel Dancing, or whatever that is. It's a computing machine that only relies on function, not show. Apparently, when I turn this uh, red button on this remote, You'll see what I mean. Let's turn these lights off. And, and apparently, when you show it to a friend or to someone with seizures, with lights on automatic, with lights like this on automatic, you'll get this. Whoa! Hey! Hey dude, nice PC <laughs> It seems that these companies that makes these things wants to kill people with seizures or any other eye disabilities uh, except for blindness. <laughs> They're fine. And if you want to configure your RGB lights on a computer, you either have two options. The first one would be owning a remote like these, but not certain of which lights it will turn on or off. And another is tall a shitty software that contains bloat and 10 times the shittiness. If you're lucky, however, you'll have a light switch on your motherboard make. The thing is with the lights on a computer is that they tend to consume a bit more power than what makes a computer tick. Apart from the power lights and the disk drive indicators, lighting on cooling fans is fine, but when you put it literally on everything like a motherboard, a core cooling fan, an RGB stick, a disk drive, or an SSD, then it goes way too far. That's why we have a much higher chance of getting a high, higher electricity bill thanks to these RGB lights on our computer which some of us can't even configure to turn off. Listen, if you're going to use your RGB computer as a nightlight when you sleep, remember the risks it comes with it. It could break your computer, break it, or could cause a fire hazard, whichever makes you comfortable. But I prefer having some use to it. Uh, and I don't want it sitting idly. So remember, you're not Linus or any other tech YouTubers, creators, or video makers out there that makes their own PC builds as presentable as possible, but rather you're a person who likes to play, or should I say, a gamer. 
And until next time, take care of your PC, RGB or not, as well as your health and weight. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and see ya. Bye bye.